Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today we have a brand new product. It is Topps 2024 Big League Baseball. This is a brand new product that just came out, I believe, within the last 24 hours. And I am delighted to be one of the very first channels, if not the first channel on YouTube, to be opening a blaster box of 2024 Big League Baseball. This is only the second 2024 baseball product that Topps has put out, and so uh, it's it's pretty fresh and pretty new, and uh, I'm I'm pumped to be getting into this. If you guys watch the channel, you know that I really like big league products. I know that they're thought of as an entry level type product, maybe for for kids or new collectors or something like that. You get a lot of cards in the box. There are a lot of parallels and inserts and things like that that you pull out of here. Um, I I love it. I think it's a lot of fun to open. I think they usually do great cards every year honestly and uh, I bought a lot of it last year and I suspect I will get a lot of it this year. I just think they're great cards. Uh, out of this blaster we will get five electric orange parallels as you can see down there and uh, one of them should be an orange foil parallel. So uh, hopefully we'll get an Orioles color match on one of those. That would be awesome. There are several different tiers of rarity. The common cards are 1 to 200 and then there are a bunch of different kind of foils you can get. The most rare of which is the gold foil, which is numbered 301 to 310, and those are super, super hard to get. Uh, the electric orange I talked about. There's also legendary black foils, which are numbered to 25. Those are obviously very hard to get. And then legendary foil fractor parallels, which are one of ones. Uh, and there's also a possibility to get autographs out of here, too. So that's kind of what I'm talking about. There's just a lot of neat stuff you can pull out of here. There's also a bunch of insert sets and unfortunately, and I have to trigger warning here, mascots are once again an insert set that you can get out of Big League this year. I apologize for the horror that may appear on your screen shortly when we open this up and I, I hope that we don't pull any of that. But uh, I have to warn you that that may happen. And of course, I will put them face down and cast them aside as soon as I realize what I'm holding in my fearful hands. But uh, just, you know, be ready in case that happens, because that's something I know we would all like to avoid. If possible, if you have small children watching, please probably send them out of the room, because nobody wants to see mascot cards. It's not good. All right, let's get Mr. Kershaw out and get into this brand new box of Big League Baseball 2024. Pretty exciting to get this. Just came out. Very, very new product. So I hope you guys are excited to see it. I love to bring you guys products first here on the Card Wolf Network. I don't always get to do it, but uh, whenever I can, I like to put that out there for you guys. So uh, here we go. Also said today I would talk about the results of the survey that you guys were kind enough to fill out over the uh, last uh, few days or so, and I really appreciate you doing that. I, I learned some things about the channel that were really interesting to discover. Some of them were things that I kind of already knew and will not be a surprise to you or me. Baseball is the most uh, popular type of card that uh, I open on the channel, and we've got eight packs of, uh, or is it 10 packs? It's 80 cards, I know that, which is how a blaster box should be. You should get a whole lot of cards out of it. Yeah, it's 10 packs of eight cards each. So 80 cards out of there. I mean, look at that gloriousness. That's awesome. So baseball is the most popular type of card I open on the channel. That wasn't really too much of a surprise, but it was overwhelmingly the most popular type of card. Um, the least popular was Pokemon. I don't think that was anybody's favorite type of card that I opened. And the question was, you know, phrased in a way, what's your favorite? It was not like, you know, rank them or anything like that. I didn't want to get into that. So there may be people who like Pokemon, it's just not their favorite, and I don't really do that much Pokemon content anyway. Um, a mix of vintage and modern was what people far prefer for the channel, and I do that. A mix of contests and giveaways, people would prefer that, and I do that as well. Um, most of the results were honestly things that, you know, this is what I do already, and so it was nice to get the validation uh, of that, that you guys did that. There were two questions about the potential for me to do a mystery box type of product. And uh, I may do that, honestly. I have, I have no plans to do it right now. I haven't thought that much about it. But it's something that I've considered and that's kind of, you know, come in and out of my mind every now and then as a way to maybe help me, you know, just 
kind of send more cards out to you guys and, and also perhaps generate just a little bit of revenue that can help me to, to buy some of the things that I buy for the channel, the collections for the collection break giveaways, for example, and uh, stuff like that. So I may do something like that. And if I do, I will ask for your input to get more of your input on that. I want to keep the mystery boxes if I do them to a pretty low price point, because I think most mystery boxes are super high to get into them. And I don't, I don't really think that's fair to most collectors. Um, and, you know, I, I would want them to be very distinctive, to feel like a card wolf thing rather than just, you know, a generic mystery box. So I'm working on that idea. I'll think about it more. You guys seemed, honestly, I was, I was kind of surprised. You guys seemed kind of enthusiastic about that idea. So it's, it's made me think about it more seriously. So I really appreciate you filling those out. Those of you who filled them out, thank you very, very much. Let's get into this big league product, brand new 2024. And this is what they look like. There's Tyler Soderstrom rookie card starting things off there. Always nice to start off with a rookie. Here's the back, very basic generic back as they often are. Craig Kimbrell is uh, the next card and let's get these in focus here. Oh, what's going on there? There we are. Craig Kimbrell there, nice Orioles card to get in our first pack. Indy Rodriguez and Andre Ciamenez from the Guardians. We got Salvador Perez and Yanni Diaz. Here we've got a To The Moon insert. That is awesome. This is one that I was aware of and I am pumped about that. Check out that card. Beautiful die cut foil card there of David Ortiz in this case. Isn't that an awesome insert? I mean, that is great. Who wouldn't like to get one of those? Especially if, you know, you're a new collector, you're a kid opening this product. I mean, that would like absolutely sell the product for me. I'd want to buy more of that right away. I already want to buy more of it. That is awesome. And our foil card is a basic foil of Adolis Garcia. No numbering or anything like that on there. I guess I'll give that its own stack too. As often is the case, I'm already creating many, many stacks and confusing myself. Let's get to our next pack. Eight cards per pack, 10 packs in this big league box. So that's awesome. I like to get a lot of cards per blaster box. I often take manufacturers to task for including so much air in their blaster boxes. Lamonte Wade Jr. from the Giants starts things off there. Ryan Hesley and Nathan Avaldi from the Rangers. We got Liam Hendricks looking absolutely pumped for the South Side Chicago team. <laughs> Love those uniforms. Gavin Williams, rookie card there, and Jordan Adams, rookie card for the Angels. Good young prospect for them. Oh my goodness. Goodness, I'm going to have to let my uh, heart calm down there. Maybe take one of my uh, glycerin pills or something. Good gracious, that was that hideous Padres mascot there. I'm so sorry, those of you who caught that image. I apologize for not getting that off screen sooner. I try to be lightning fast getting those mascots away and put face down where they will not harm anyone. That was terrifying. And again, I apologize for that. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. Let's go to our last card. It is Yoshida, second year card of Yoshida, because these are 2024 cards. And as you can see, it's quite foily and shiny. So nice one there. Put that in the foil stack to our next pack. I did not mix these packs up or reshuffle them in any way, shape, or form. So these are the way that they went into the box. Here's our first orange parallel, and it is Eddie... Rosario from the Braves and that's kind of a color match to the Braves actually that's not so bad so I need another need to start yet another stack I'll put it back here with the Allen wrench there's Jose Barrios from the Blue Jays CJ Abrams and Tatis we got uh, Sean Murphy with the Braves and Chris Valamont from the Guardians rookie card there we got a backwards card here it is not numbered but it is Jeremy Pena from the Astros, and that is, what color is that? I don't know what color that is. That is uh, kind of, maybe, I don't know what that is. That is uh, an interesting, it's not numbered, so I'm gonna have to check that out. Yet another stack is forming back there. Andrew McCutcheon, what is happening here? This looks like he's hitting in some sort of apple orchard scenario. We're gonna have to investigate that card more thoroughly. Matt McLean, very good young player for the Reds is our foil card. Looks like we're getting a foil per pack here. What is happening here? Oh, all right. Excellent. These are the cards where you get to see up close and personal the player's fun box. You're going to see Andrew McCutcheon's fun box, which is one of the best parts of big league. It's looking into the player's fun boxes. Andrew's go-to sandwich includes eggs, bacon, cheese, and strawberry jam. That is vile, sir. That is disgusting, Andrew McCutcheon. I regret 
getting to see into your fun box at this point. Let's get to our next pack and try to put the memory of that horrible sandwich combination behind us. Let's see what we have here. We get our next orange parallel, and it's Michael Harris the second. That's a pretty good one there. Also a second year card for that player in 2024. We got, uh, I'll put that, where am I putting the orange ones there? Back there. Kevin Gaussman is next with Kiebert Ruiz. Matthew Libertoire from the Cardinals. Orlando Arcia from the Braves. And Anthony Rendon swinging freely for the Angels. We got Jaron Duran there. I don't think that is any kind of an insert or anything. I think that's a normal card. We got another to the moon card. That is awesome. Love these inserts. It's Evan Carter, and it is a rookie card to the moon card. That's a beauty. Very happy to get that one. That is great. I really like those inserts. And William Contreras is our foil card there from the Brewers. Go to our next pack. And this is, I think, our fifth pack. So this is the halfway point for this box. Let's see how we do out of here. It's Teoscar Hernandez first out of the pack. And then uh, Dominic Canzone from the Mariners. That is a rookie card there. We got Alika Williams and Bo Naylor from the Guardians. I thought Naylor was going to have a huge season last year. He did not. Parker Meadows rookie card there. He looks very eager to catch that pop fly rushing in from the outfield for the Tigers. Cole Raggins and we get uh, another fun box card, I believe. This is another one of those fun box cards. We're going to get to see George Brett's fun box. How about he'd be cranky about that? George popularized the famous baseball phrase the Mendoza line. Really? I don't think of that as being famous, really, and I didn't know George popularized that, so that's kind of interesting information there. You learn something new every day. Dansby Swanson, a foil card from the Cubs. We're getting into the second half of this 10-pack box of 2024 Big League. Very happy to get into this brand new product for a year on the channel. Get another orange parallel here. It's Luke and Baker. It's a rookie card from the Cardinals. Get that in focus. There we are. So that's pretty sweet. Another rookie parallel there. Aaron Nola pitching, of course, for the Phillies. Jason Dominguez and Kenta Maida from the Tigers. We got Lourdes Gurriel Jr. and Bryce Elder there from the Braves. Reese Olsen, rookie card. Good pitching prospect there. And Good Vibrations is the name of this insert, brother. Good Vibrations from Francisco Lindor. There you go. Pretty cool inserts. That's what I'm saying. Ozzy Albee's there. Very nice foil card of that player for the Braves. That goes in that stack. That's why I like Big League. The inserts are just, they just look cool. They're just neat looking inserts. I mean, I know, you know, Topps makes those, uh, what are they called? I think they're downtown. Are those the inserts that they make? The ones that have the uh, pictures of like landmarks from the city in the background. And those are pretty inserts too. I like those a lot, but they're so darn rare that you never see them. Whereas you open up a box of Big League, and even if it's out of focus, you still get some cool inserts out of it. There we go. Ardolis Chapman starts off this pack with Oslevius. What is this? Oslevis Basabe from the Rays. I love that name. And one day I will learn to pronounce it properly. Luke and Baker get another rookie card of that player there in the regular format. Cedric Mullins and Gunnar Henderson, second year card of Gunnar Henderson. That is one that will certainly go on the PC for me, though. That is great. Cattell Marte from the D-backs and Mookie Betts. Is this another glimpse into somebody's fun box? I think it could be. First, we'll check out Byron Buxton in the foil there, looking absolutely pumped for the Twins in one of their throwback uniforms. That's a sweet card. I like that. Let's check out Mookie Betts' fun box. Get up close and personal with this player. Mookie Long has been an ardent fan of the Shrek movie franchise. I don't really find that to be that interesting, but if you're a big Shrek fan, you and Mookie have something in common. Let's get to our next pack. Almost through this box. Just a few more to go. There he is again. Oslavis Basabe. I'm going to call it that. Oslavis Basabe. It's another orange parallel, and it's another orange parallel rookie, which is great. Love that. Get a lot of rookies out of here so far. Whit Merrifield, who looks completely nonplussed for the Blue Jays. Get this in focus and you'll see what I'm talking about. Look at this. He just looks like, ugh, facing this pitcher again. Jeez, tired of playing this game, this baseball stuff. Maybe I'll go be an artist. Julio Rodriguez there, J-Rod from the Mariners. Brett Batty, who looks delighted. Now that is how a baseball player should look when he's out there having fun on the field. Thank you, Brett Batty, for showing us the way things should be. Trey Cabbage there 
interesting last name, Tanner Beebe. And we got Miguel Cabrera, probably his last playing era card. I think that still counts as that. To the moon, we get another one and it's Shohei. That is awesome. In the Dodgers uniform, no less. That is fantastic. Check that out. That is a very sweet card. What a great pull. That one will definitely go on the PC. Perhaps I should... I'm not going to wolf layer. So I got so many piles going. I'm just going to put things in piles and then I'll wolf layer stuff at the end when I'm just looking at these cards all by myself in the privacy of my own card wolf citadel here. Logan Webb is our foil card and that goes in that stack penultimate pack now. Second to last pack. If you're excited about this video and you're enjoying it a lot, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does wonderful things for the channel and I certainly appreciate it. Lawrence Butler is our first card out of this pack. Lawrence Butler from Oakland. We got Henry Davis rookie card there. Very nice. Wade Meckler, who is a player I'm not that familiar with, but uh, he is a rookie as well. And he has got quite the mustache. Wade Meckler right there, yes. We got Hunter Brown. Of course, I know who that is, though. Hunter Brown looks as though he just saw a goblin run past the catcher after he threw that. He looks scared out of his mind, which, you know, if I saw that on the field, maybe he saw a mascot. That's probably what he really saw was a mascot. Because they roam around the ballpark, which should be illegal, but they let them do it. They let the mascots roam throughout the ballpark, scaring people, giving people heart palpitations. It's wrong. Major League Baseball should take action. Brian Delacruz there. And Corbin Carroll, second year card of that rookie of the year from last year. Oh my heavens, What that was an abomination. Whatever that was, I, I don't know if I'll ever be able to bleach that image out of my memory. That was... Holy cow, I, I'm going to need to take a minute and catch my breath after that. That was just utterly horrific. That was the stuff of nightmares, whatever that is. On the back, apparently it says he is called Baxter. Baxter is nightmarish. He is a fiend in mascot form, is what that is. Cabrian Hayes in the foil form is what we have to finish off that pack. And then we move on to our final pack, which I hope very, very much will be mascot free. I, I really am sorry that you had to see two of them. I would never have guessed that Big League would put two of those hideous cards in a single blaster box. That just seems, I'm going to have to write them a letter about that because that is wrong. Miles McCullis here from the Cardinals, and he is not scary like Baxter. Ezekiel Duran there, a good young player who I like a lot. We got Trevor Story and AJ Smith Shawver from the Braves. Rookie card there of that pitcher. Austin Hayes, another Orioles card. I'd like to see that. We got a backwards card here. And who is it? Who is the backwards card? Say it with me. It's Kodai Senga. Yes, there he is. I pull Kodai Senga as though it is the purpose of this channel. I should just retitle it the Kodai Senga channel because I pull his card so much. I won't do that. Don't worry. That I would send out a survey to ask you if I should do that before I ever did something like that. So you don't need to worry. Not going to change things on you. It is a blue parallel though, so that's pretty cool because it's a color match to the Mets, and uh, I do love color match parallels quite a lot. So uh, that's pretty neat. It's also not numbered. I'm going to have to look up on the box and see if that is some sort of uh, super rare. I, I don't think blue is likely to be super rare, but I guess you never know. I'll put that back there in one of Ryan's card stands. Thank you again, Ryan, for those. We got good vibrations of Ronnie Mauricio. That's a rookie card too, so that's pretty awesome like that. These parallels and all of the inserts you get out of here, I mean, this is an awesome box. This is such a great product. Anthony Rizzo foil finishes off the box for us. There it is. And uh, there you go. So that was, that was aside from these absolutely frightful and should be illegal mascot cards, everything else was a whole lot of fun. And I certainly enjoyed that box. And I'll probably buy another one of these. I, I'll be honest with you. I just really like this product. I never really get tired of it. Kodai Senga Blue. I should look at the box and see what it says about Blue Parallels before we sign off here because maybe it will tell me what uh, what the rarity is on that. Blue Foil is rare. There's Common, which is non-foil, and then there's Uncommon, Rare, Super Rare, and Legendary. So Blue Foil is regular rare. Only above that is Super Rare and Legendary. And Legendary, I think, is extremely, extremely rare. Actually, what is this? This is... Uh, 
This was the other foil, and that one looks... That, that must just be the orange foil. I think that's what it is. It said we would get an orange foil, and I think that's what that is, the orange foil that we were promised. So there you go. That is going to be probably the rarest card that we got out of here, but a lot of other very cool cards. The Otani to the Moon card was a real winner for me. I'm pretty pumped about that. And a nice card design, too. I didn't remark on it, but I think the card design this year is very nice. Very traditional feel to it, yet also very modern. So they were able to check all the boxes on that for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this product. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Always like to know what you guys think about the new product, what uh, your opinion is. Matters to me very much. Always enjoy discussing that with you. Hope you guys are having a great week. It is almost Friday, and of course that means Dorking with Dice is coming right up. It's an all-baseball edition of Dorking with Dice tomorrow because baseball season starts today. It's probably starting at this moment. There's probably a major league team playing baseball, and uh, I should go watch it except I have to work, but uh, maybe tonight I'll watch some games. In any event, I hope you get to watch some baseball too, and I'll see you back here tomorrow for Dorking with Dice. Hopefully get my son involved in that, and uh, have a good time then. Thanks for coming out to the episode, and as always, happy collecting.